Good morning. I'm in the room. The room of the closet. And I have a cat who's sitting here giving me love eyes. She's just like, Please love me. Right now she's rubbing all over my hand. She's a good girl. I'm going to do a simple look today. Um, nothing too crazy. Like, when I say simple, I mean, like, it's simple. Shampoo. So hopefully this will be easy for everybody to recreate, no matter what skill you got. Just put my primer down. Because that's not pretty when you leave it just like that. I mean, I guess, uh, it could be the new trend. Raw primer eye. You no, know, just like, shove a glob of eye primer on your eyeball and just go. It's, it's what everybody's doing. So I got a little bit of setting powder left on here. I'm going to put a little bit more because it's not going to get enough. So I'm using the Laura Mercier. And that's what I'm going to use to set my primer today. Not, a, not an eyeshadow, which is fine. You don't have to use the eyeshadow. You don't have to use the setting powder but today like I said I'm just doing a simple look and just because I like my simple look is probably just a little bit more extra I'm taking a blending brush I think this is the palette. I'm sorry, I should have grabbed it before. Yes, this is the palette I want. Taking just this color right here, hold on, which is Combust. And uh, you might have to find a darker shade or maybe even a lighter shade. I'm fairly pale, so this is going to be deep enough for what I want. I'm just sticking this in the crease of my eye. Just to give it a little, uh, dimension. That's what I mean, like, this is the extra part right here. Then, I've got to grab my brush, my synthetic flathead brush. Hold on. Like I said, it gets lost in there. I got. A, I'm in the market of looking for uh, new containers. There it is. Like I want something because this one is quite full and this one's quite full. I want one more container to like kind of put the medium sized brushes in, and then another container to put like the dirtier brushes and so I don't get them mixed up so I can easily just wash those and take care of them instead of like going okay now is this one really that dirty um but I don't want that container per se those were from the dollar store um I kind of want something else that's a, just a little bit um more decorative what I was thinking is getting actually like, you know, like planters that you can hang up on the wall, like the little ones that you stick the cups in, the, or not the cups, wow, the um, pots in, getting one that has at least a row of four and hanging it on my wall so I could take those cups out when I need them, or those pots out when I need them, and then just have them on my wall instead of taking up space on my counter. But I haven't found anything that's like, oh, that's it. That's the one. Or if I find something, it's like one or two of them. And I'm like, reality, if I replace one or get the other two, I'm going to want all everything to match. That's just how I am. All right, so I'm sorry. I sprayed my uh, brush with primer water, and I'm dipping in the shimmer shade.
I'm gonna do that on this side too. And there's like this little fuzz that is like right here somewhere. I can't see it. But it's driving me bonkers. I'm gonna have to spray some more uh, pot, or setting spray on the brush for this eye because you could see this eye and then this eye the it was already pretty much dried down I tried to like go fast enough where I didn't have to worry about it all right so I'm going to take uh, that fluffy brush that we just had And get a little more of that color on it and just get the outer corner to blend it in and Make sure I enjoyed that coverage That's that for the eye color. Like I said, I was just going to go very simple today. And so sometimes I'll do a simple look like this. And then when I get home from wherever I am and I want to jazz it up, I can take like a bright pink or blue or any color even. Like it doesn't have to. And I can, depending on if it's really bright, I'll put it here. If it's kind of more deeper, I'll just add it to the outer corner and blend it out and it just changes the whole look but it can carry you from a morning look to an evening look very quickly the next thing i'm going to do is grab my eyeliner hopefully i'm grabbing the right one yes ha, ha, ha. i wanted to use my clinique one i like this one i keep going back to it because it's a brush you can't tell but it's not a felt tip let's see eh. It's hard to tell without me pushing the brush and then I'll get color all over my hand. But I really like this. So I'm going to go put some liner on real quick. I'm not going anywhere. You're going away. I'm right here. And the boldness is really coming from this thick liner. It's not um, a wing wing, but it's not. It's, it's a wing. I just can't think of its name. It's not like a cat wing or anything like that. It's just. I want to say it's just like. Eh. I know its name. Okay, don't judge. What I like about this is it like it because it's a felt tip like I'm currently working right here but you could see it just hugs the lash line and for me my lash line is pretty hard to hug so anything that looks me oh hi cat oh she just made me stab myself in the eye a little it's okay we know we can take a q-tip and, and fix that little area Jada went to climb on my lap, but she needs her nails trimmed, so she climbed on with her nails. So, unfortunately, I had that little mark. Um, but, uh, like I said, when it dries down, I know exactly how to fix it. 
I'm not even... Jada, you can't have this... You can't have this straw on my coffee. She definitely cracks me up with her little, uh... Like, she's for the most part a well... I want to say mannered cat. I mean, as much as a cat can be a well-mannered cat. She's not usually one to just, like, knock things over just to make me mad. Like, or to get my attention. But sometimes she just gets in these ultra, 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 like, just love me, hold me, love me, hold me moods. And, um, that's when she starts being silly like that. Like, I'm petting her right now. I know I should finish this, but, I mean... Like I said, she's not one to, um, really, truly want to be a snuggly cat. Don't get me wrong. She, she loves a good snuggle, like a good, like, quick hug and to be pet and loved, but she's definitely more of a look and pet, pet me cat than hold me, love me cat. Nothing's wrong with being a love me, hold me cat or a not love me, hold me cat. I just love her little personality. And, um, see? I didn't even have a q tip, I just had a cotton sponge. This little guy, he just got it and uh, just reapplied a little bit of the whatchamacallit and it's fine. Um, yes. I wish you could see her face right now. She's just like, yes. Now, I don't know if there's somebody always coming into this area I live in and knocking on somebody's door like all the time or there's just this guy in the parking lot that always plays that obnoxious face or if it's the same thing but it happens all hours of the day I'm like come on I mean it might be a combination of both but it's like if it's somebody knocking on somebody's door like learn to knock like a person or better yet, if they're not answering your knock, maybe give them a call. Don't stand out there and do, 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 do. like her neighbor has had this. I don't know if she still comes around. Had this one woman come on, go on. I'm gonna call him Steve. His name is not Steve. Steve, open up. This is not right. Steve, open up. This is not right. And like, um, you have my blah blah blah. Open up. Bah, I just want that. Blah, blah, blah. Open up. I know you're home. At like 1 o'clock in the morning. And like, it, that hasn't happened since. So I think it was just that lady. But my husband had to open up the door. And, and granted, it was just me and the cat sleeping in the room. He goes, my wife and my kids are sleeping. Don't you... You, she looked at him crazy. He's like, maybe you come come back in the morning if he's not answering. Obviously, he's not answering the door. I was like, you're being loud and you're waking everybody up. And he's not one to, like, confront a random stranger like that over something like that. But it was, like, ridiculous. Because I was like, what is even going on out there? Like, it's so loud. But uh, that was like a few months ago. And, but like I said, I don't know if what I'm hearing now every once in a while is somebody at somebody's door begging or somebody just randomly goes out to their car and listens to music. And it's more of like an evening event. 
like, evening. I'm talking about, like, when I was going to bed. Like, like, it was enough where I would jump up and check my door. Because I was like, is somebody at my door? That's what I mean. Like, it wasn't... It wasn't quiet. And I couldn't... It wasn't even necessarily, like, a beat to it. But then again, there's a lot of music now that... That ain't no beat. It's just whatever it is. And people go, yay, music! I'm like, hey, no! So can't really judge if what I was hearing was somebody's music from far away that was just ridiculously loud and you need to be taught some respect for people around you. It's great. You want to listen to music that loud? Put fucking headphones in. Sorry for my language. I didn't mean to swear like that. Or, you know, when you get into said development that you're, you live in, what I used to do, because I used to be that kid who liked to have um, a system in my car and listen to my music as long as I could without like, um, I had, mm, don't have good hearing, but so I wasn't like listening to it like I was a jerk face, but I did listen to it louder than um, my brother was comfortable listening to. So, I mean, uh, but I would know when I come came into my development of where I lived that people had different schedules in life so when I pulled into the development I would turn down my music out of respect for everybody who lived there I mean granted there wasn't a lot of people renting places because it was a housing development and this is an apartment complex but <laughs> no matter what renting or, or, or owning you're still paying to live there and I'd be damned if I paid somewhere to live somewhere and I had to listen to somebody blurring their music because they want to be rude. Like, I get it like every once in a while, party, whatever, cool. But that's when you go and be respectful to your neighbors, neighbors being like, hey, we're going to be having a party. If it gets too loud, let us know. But it will be done by this and this time. Like, you just, you just kind of... You know, you let people know if you're going to do something like that. Unless you have, like, a farmhouse and you have all this land, then you do what you want to do. But you don't want to be that neighbor that just thinks that they own the whole area. Don't be that person. Don't be rude. Be, be considerate to the people around you. And it's funny because it's the people that are rude and disrespectful like that are definitely the people who think that, like, they're owed everything. And uh, they can't understand why people act a certain way around them. Like, well, you're always rude and disrespectful. If you were kind... I showed a little bit more respect to those around you. You get a lot further. Like, I always said, like, I used to get a lot of people say, I forgot it's my kid's birthday. I need a full sheet cake. What do you mean you can't give me a full sheet cake right now? Well, I can give you something in the case. But being I have a whole bunch of orders, I'm sorry. And I wouldn't feel bad that they forgot their kid's birthday. And then, because, I mean, you know your kid's birthday's for a year. Circumstances, yes, there's circumstances where I, I do feel bad. But when you come at me, and then tell me you need a full sheet cake. And then you're getting mad at me that I can't do that. But I'm trying to give you like solutions. I'm like I have a half sheet cake. We can get you a half sheet cake. I can put whatever you want on it. And 24 cupcakes. That's the same amount of people. No I need this. And here be it. I'm like. 
okay, I'm not gonna help you anymore then. Like, if, if you came up to me and be like, oh my god, my life has been, like, just a crazy shamble. I'm running around trying to get all this stuff done, like, different scenario, different this, this and that. And I was running around and I realized I completely forgot to place the order. What can we do? And I'll get those options. And if you're like, okay, I'll do it. Then I'm gonna help you. But when you're rude and demanding things from me because you forgot, like again, scenarios. I have, I've definitely had it where somebody goes, I'm sorry, I just lost like blah, blah, blah. And they're like, obviously all dressed like in black. They were coming from a funeral and it's my kid's birthday. I gotta do something. i will be like, all right, let me see what I have in the case of there's nothing you want here I might even have like a cake that's already ready to go for a later order that I can just swap out for another cake in a minute like let's see what we can work with there's times where I'll be like all right let's figure this out but when you're rude and you just forgot and it's my fault this wasn't supposed to be a rant I'm sorry I'm, I don't work there anymore and <laughs> Whatever, I need to move on. Alright, well, Jesus took a turn. I love you all, and I will see you all tomorrow. But here is a quick, simple look. Bye!